Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, fantastic. Thanks for having me on again. Always a pleasure. Excited to have you back on the show. My first question, Kyle, with inflation at generational highs and breathing down investors' backs, can you explain why a royalty company like Vox offers such a beneficial and unique opportunity for investors? Absolutely. So Vox is uniquely positioned, um, as most royalty companies are that are doing their jobs right, in that we have a portfolio of 55 royalties and streams, and the interest is in the top line revenue of each of these mining operations. So we're not afflicted by the inflationary costs that mining companies are feeling. So both their fixed costs and their variable costs are feeling the effects of inflation, and just the same as you and I as consumers are. So these rapidly rising prices are eating away at the the earnings power of these businesses. But Vox is uniquely positioned because we're taking a percentage of the top line, not the bottom line and not EBITDA either. It's top line revenue based. So that's very significant for investors to understand. The other benefit is typically in inflationary cycles, if you look back at the last nine inflationary regimes, commodities have been the best performer or one of the best performers, if not the best. And we are uniquely positioned in that we get the benefit of a buoyant commodity cycle without those cost pressures eating into our business and without having to contribute more capital to the growth of these underlying assets. So it's a unique business model in that we get so much of the upside and leverage upside because we're not contributing to the capital efforts to, to have the, allow these assets to grow. We're just getting the benefit from them. We're not diluted. So a lot of the issues with mining companies is you can be tremendously diluted as they continue to grow. Um, And then we have the diversification of 55 royalties and streams. So all within a small cap company, a lot more torque in our business model um, and which we were designed to accomplish going back almost 10 years ago now. You've been doing a phenomenal job. Now today Vox announced some exciting developments. Can you break down for us specifically the news on the expiration success? Yeah, Rich, you know, it's really exciting for us to produce the exploration results because our mining engineers and our geologists work really hot, really hard behind the scenes to bring great assets into the portfolio that we fundamentally believe are going to become very material, very exciting royalties uh, for Vox and our shareholders. And so within this press release that we came out with today, there were three very significant exploration updates that were made kind of a material difference in our portfolio in terms of the value of these assets. One was the Pedro Branca royalty that's operated by Valor. It's the largest developing platinum groups metals project in South America. And they doubled the resource size. And this doubling occurred after we bought the royalty. So when we bought it at about a million ounces of PGE exposure. Now it has over two. So that's highly significant. And again, we didn't have to fund that, that growth of that asset. Congrats to that team. That's fantastic success. It's shaping up to be a really interesting asset. And oh, by the way, before we could even digest that news, and get it to market, they had already announced this morning that they had more uh, really stunning results from the trenching program, finding new targets. So really shaping up to be just a tremendous asset. That's a big asset, two plus million ounces of PGE exposure at the grades that they have. It's a shallow ore body. That's our mining engineers and our geologists doing the hard work and having that pay off. Then there were another two assets that had very material exploration developments. One was another doubling of the resource. So uh, that's a Western Australia gold operation, doubled the resource by 113%. So that's in the press release. Again, from where we bought it to where it stands today, doubling the resource that we have a royalty over, hugely significant. And then there was the main in kind of crystallization of value in terms of the inaugural resource being published um, on an asset called Puzzle North, which is really significant for us because we bought this asset. We liked the drilling that was happening. We believe that there was... You know, a, a good chance this royalty would be something like a 50x over where we bought it. And sure enough, with uh, with this news, that looks to be the case. So really on the exploration side of the business, exciting. And some of these assets are not that far off. If you look at what's going on in Western Australia, you could bring a mine from these stages to in production anywhere from call it one to three years. 
So that's highly significant in terms of adding to our portfolio of eventually producing assets that are in a low risk jurisdiction, relatively low risk geology, um, and some pretty exciting resources. So excited to announce those results. Kyle, I understand that there was some meaningful development success as well. Can you go through this for us? Yeah. So one of the royalties that we're really excited about in the portfolio is an asset called Jan and Ivy. And we bought this royalty pre uh, a very material investment from Zijin, who's a $30 billion, uh, mostly gold producer, but multi-commodity producer as well. And we bought this royalty um, with the understanding that this was going to happen. Um, but you know, we were certainly using our intelligence on the ground and, and selecting this royalty for what we believed was going to be the, an expansion that made this the largest heat bleach project in all of Australia. And sure enough, that's happened. They've, uh, they just came out and announced that the production uh, ramp from this, uh, this expansion project should be in effect by the second half of this year. So that increases the revenue profile of this asset within our business by about 5x. So very, very significant development for us and crystallization that that's happening within the portfolio. So that's great news for us and our investors. And then secondly, uh, the Ashburton project. So we bought this royalty pre, this asset was locked in a big company called Northern Star. They weren't doing anything with it. We bought it right before they ended up selling it to a nimble junior called Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo has come out and said they've done metal, metallurgical test work alongside new drilling. Their target on this is from 1.6 million ounces where it stands today to somewhere between two and three million ounces. But almost more importantly, they came out and said the metallurgical test studies were really positive on this, which means this asset, you can, you can process this, uh, this ore body um, successfully. And so that's really de-risked what is a big asset within our, within our portfolio and one that we're really excited about. So kind of across the spectrum, Rich, really exciting, really tangible, meaty developments within our portfolio and important for your investor audience to understand we didn't pay anything additional for that to happen. We weren't diluted. And when these companies are going to face higher costs in the future because of the inflation that we all feel as consumers, it's afflicting them as well. We're not exposed to that. So we're a really unique company in today's marketplace. So everywhere I go, everyone right now is talking about precious metals. Everyone's talking about gold. So are you seeing interest increase in commodities and royalty companies? You know, it's really interesting, Rich. We spend a lot of time um, talking to different investor communities and, and, you know, really across the spectrum from the mining company partners that are moving these assets forward to the investors that are looking for, for where to be investing capital. And what I'll tell you is everyone is probably as excited as I've ever seen across the spectrum. So from the mining companies to the metal traders, the metal buyers at, at the end market in terms of where metal prices are going. But what I'm seeing is there's a, there's a change in the investor audience where they're starting to really invest in the time it takes to understand where to deploy capital within the broader commodity sector. And royalty companies are so unique right now with inflation so high and so heavy um, that we're getting the benefit of this really buoyant commodity cycle, which most are expecting to continue uh, certainly far out into the future but we're not exposed to these rising costs that are coinciding with the rise in commodity prices. So I, I'm seeing a lot more interest from some of the who's who of huge investors around the world. Fox is not always the right home. We're a small cap company. We've talked about that. Um, you know, we certainly have the growth engine, but there's a lot of big investors that are looking at the companies like Frank of Nevada and Wheaton and Royal Gold um, that offer you know, this type of liquid exposure in the royalty sector. Um, because it's a really neat place to be putting capital right now. There's so much wind at the back of royalty companies, companies like Fox, um, that it's really resonating with investors because the facts just line up, the realities line up. Um, we're in an advantage position in, in today's marketplace. Super excited to watch you guys grow and continue to develop. Thank you for your time today. The CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. Thank you for joining us today, Kyle. Thanks, Rich. Always a privilege to be with you. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure. I must remind you guys and everyone that's watching that Rich TV Live is strictly for information, education, and entertainment purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, Vox Royalty Corp has already been a winner for our community. We introduced this stock at about $2.70, currently trading at $3.55 in Canada. Congratulations to investors all over the world. Put Vox Royalty Corp on your radar, put it on your watch list, VOX in Canada, VOXCF in America. And thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. 
If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with the CEO of Box Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd, saying have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.